Hi everyone, Jessica Paquette here to talk about the horse that made me fall in love with racing. My first love in racing was a horse named Blazing Sword in 1996-1997. I know, I am old. Now, he was owned by a local businessman, Gil Campbell, from Lowell, Massachusetts, where I grew up. So he got a ton of coverage in our local print newspaper. And that was what originally made me feel connected to this horse. Racing horses, all that seemed like a world away. And this horse had connections to my hometown and I was all in. And getting to follow his early career, his three-year-old season, was a great thrill. Then he got hurt, wound up missing the Kentucky Derby, and I continued to follow him. And for me, I just fell in love with the big heart that this horse had. He overcame quite a few significant injuries, earned a million dollars on the racetrack the old-fashioned way, no big major stakes races, kind of a hard-knocking, high level allowance, low level stakes horse, a couple of graded stakes along the way. But for me, he was the horse that made me fall in love with the old war horse type, the hard knocking horses. And I got to see him in person at the 1999 Breeders' Cup. He was in the on the undercard. I was there with Kids to the Cup as a starry eyed kid. And getting to see him in person was one of the great joys of my life as a racing fan and as a sports fan. So Blazing Sword, to this day, he's the reason I love an old war horse. Mark Idri and Mula Gula running hard with a bone for long to go. Jose Rivera at the rail with Blazing Sword firing through. Blazing Sword, Night Dreamer, Mula Gula, Blazing Sword up the rail to prevail in the Great Two Washington Park Handicap.